Welcome to this beautiful and most exciting series on finding yourself in the midst of life, particularly in the midst of life's trials. We've seen identity, we've seen image, we've seen interrogation, and today we'll be looking at interface or interpersonal relationship. What is an interface? What is interpersonal relationship? You know, man was created to be a social being and not to live in isolation. Like they always say, the popular saying says, no man is an island. So the reason why man is a social being is because we are interrelated, <clears throat> we are intertwined, and we need other people to climb up the ladder of life. And so you cannot live your life as a recluse or a hermit. You cannot live your life in isolation. Today's world, people are becoming very individualistic, very narcissistic, very independent. But the truth is, we must get to that point in life where we begin to interface more. And in today's world, social media is actually not helping us interrelate and interface more. You look at families sometimes on the dinner table, the kids are on the phone, spouses are on the phone, parents are on the phone, and there is little time for interaction. Man was born to be an interactive being. Man was born to interface. Man was born to interrelate with other people. And so, in going through the journey and the issues of life, we would need ourselves. We would need each other. We would need to spend quality time just speaking and talking about issues. When we do this, it helps to build our confidence. It helps to build our ability to navigate through the challenges of life because you may not have all the answers to the issues that you're faced with. So interface is very, very important. Imagine you've been in an office and there is little interaction with your colleagues at work. That's going to be really defeating because there are issues that you might not be able to solve yourself. So the issue of interface is very, very important. We need fellowship. We need friendship. We need partnership, we need synergies, we need collaborations. And for us to do this, we must dwell on the fact that on your own, you can accomplish little. Like the Bible says, one which is a thousand, but two will put 10,000 to flight. One of the greatest interface and interpersonal relationship ever seen in the world was the one between Jonathan and David that was an exciting interface that led to a solid building of relationship between the two of them. And that led to defining the destiny of the entire nation of Israel. So as a man, as a woman, young and old, boy or girl, male or female, we need to constantly interface with other people. You probably will not like somebody's face, but that doesn't really matter because you might just find that you will need that some person in the future. So it is important that we begin to spend quality time interfacing with people, building relationships, building synergies that will ultimately lead and help us to discover more of who we are. You know, people around you could be the mirror that you need to discovering some of those giftings and those talents that are inherent and may probably just not active, but in a state of inertia. And as you interface with people, it brings about a discovery of who you are. <laughs> it brings about, uh, you know, a stronger and a better individual so that you don't live your life like a hermit. You don't live your life like a reckless because you would definitely need people around you. So interfacing in this series is so important. 
And I pray that you begin to interface on a daily basis. God bless you.